Hello there, and today we will be taking a look at the ATTE Walker, which honestly is an amazing set. And I have to be clear, there is a little bit of 1 to 45 minifigure scale bias because this ship is perfectly scaled to many of the other models that I have built here on the channel. And you can find all of them on the Discord and on Rebrickable, but you already know that by now. This set has been out for a little over two years, coming out the 1st of August, 2022. Many people, myself included, are expecting this set to retire at the end of the year, which isn't great timing considering next year we will be celebrating the anniversary of Revenge of the Sith, which is the movie it is taken from. Though it's accurate enough to use for any sort of Clone Wars displays, I use this to store all of my Phase 1 clone troopers. And if you are curious to how many clones exactly fit, there is also a video on that. I'll leave that linked in the description and on the end screen. But at 1,082 pieces, it doesn't seem that bad a price. And I will also be weighing this. I did weigh the Ghost and there was another set we reviewed. It might have been the AAT. They weren't too different from the other sets at the time. So if this is following the same trend, I probably won't include it in the video, but just know I am weighing all these sets in case there is one that's really cheap or on the other end of the spectrum and turns out to be a really, really expensive set, like some of the battle packs we've been getting recently. Though this set does come with nine minifigures, only three of them are unique to the set and one of them is a buildable droid. The other two unique minifigures are Commander Cody and the gunner that usually sits on the top here, though the set does also come with three regular 212 and also three B1 battle droids. So you're getting a fair share of clone troopers and battle droids for your army. You're getting the commander, perhaps Cody can be the one piloting the ATTE. And then you've got the gunner on top to face off against the little droid build, or perhaps you've got yourself a few of the new battle packs with a tri-droid, which would go really well with this set. And then you've got your three battle droids and three clone troopers to have a bit of fisticuffs on the battlefield. I managed to pick this up not long after its release. It can't have been any more than six months and Smiths had already had 25% off, which you can expect for most of the larger ships, which is why it isn't great when something like the Ghost ends up to be an Amazon exclusive. But chances are you can still pick it up for around that £90 mark. So for £90, I think you're getting your money's worth and perhaps even a little bit extra. As I've mentioned, a ton of play features. Not only do you have the two blasters at the back and the four at the front with a giant turret on top, we'll get to modifying that in a minute. You also have two stud shooters at the side of the turret, which I have taken out just so I don't lose any more studs. The cockpit does come off at the front, which is where you can fit a clone trooper. I've got my phase one pilot, but of course you'd put a regular 212 that came with the set. The interior at the front, you've got enough space for about six troopers to sit down, though two of those are used as weapon racks and storage containers, but there are two studs for a trooper and at the back you've got about another seven seats though you can definitely fit a few more troopers off of the usual studs in terms of whether or not this vehicle is mini figure scale i have a tape measure to help us because i do work in studs but one of my members soybean actually works in centimeters which is so much easier especially for showing you on camera so i'm using their modification of my 1 to 45 scale and the length of this is meant to be down to a 1 to 45 scale just over 35 centimeters which you can see is from the tip of one turret to the tip of the other pretty much bang on 35.2 centimeters and then the height is meant to be i think the height of the actual ATTE excluding the turret is meant to be just over 15 centimeters which you can see it's falling a little bit too short perhaps as in the vehicle is too big so perhaps it's falling a bit on the upper side it's a little too tall but with the legs i think we can excuse that because then if we're looking at the width and you might not be able to see it on camera it's also meant to be 15 centimeters and well it's close enough for a lego set it's almost stud accuracy which is really cool on a lego model because it means we don't have to modify anything this is fine to whack in a minifigure scale mark and it will scale very nicely to your other models at a 1 to 45 
minifigure scale. If you want to find out more details about how I calculate my minifigure scale and some of the other models that I have already built, there are videos on the channel and they're actually some of the more popular ones, so they're pretty hard to miss. The ATTE does have six legs, but you'll notice these middle legs are very, very flexible. And there's some flexibility in the front legs, though it is a lot, lot less than those middle two. So you can position them as though it's walking over some rocky terrain, though you can only really differ the legs by about a brick at max without having to modify some of the joints. Now, I mentioned about modifying this top turret here, and I have also turned this into a shawl already, so you can check this out. But if you remove the turret off the ATTE Walker, you can actually attach the 501st Specialist Battle Pack, which is some sort of miniature AV7 cannon. And you do have to remove the legs if you want that full articulation but it does clip on quite nicely and I thought that was such a great feature. So I've gone one step further and taken the top off of my mini figure scale AV7 cannon and as you can see I think this just looks so much better than either of the cannons and would be terrifying to face up against in the Clone Wars. And I guess you can also fit the ATTE cannon on the legs of my minifigure scout walker. This is technically day three of talking about Utapau in Lego form, as two days ago I built custom trooper mocks for some of my custom clone troopers, including an Utapau scene which included Kenobi on the smallest Varactyl I have ever seen built in Lego form, which you can build for free for joining up to the members. Both tiers have the instructions. But yesterday we looked at a micro version of this ATTE, a micro fighter that seats two clone troopers, which honestly would be great to get two clone troopers in a small set like a micro fighter. But I think the best scenario would be if this set is still on shelves next year for Revenge of the Sith, it's going to attract a load of non Lego fans that would just like an ATTE there, built on their shelf with no other minifigures surrounding it. But I'm sure Lego know what they're doing. I'll give you a quick look of this on my shelf next to the gunship because not only does it size up pretty close, but they're actually nearly the same size in universe. So they both look really, really cool on display together. And I've seen various people mock up the gunship to turn it into a dropship for the ATTE, which again is also a really fun idea. Did you know this set also doubles with another set on store shelves that released this year and if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about the commander cody brickheads this is my modified one but if you take the puck from the brickheads and add it to commander cody from this atte you can have the execute order 66 scene where kenobi is trying to run off on his fractile that again you can mock together using my instructions and recreate that scene very well it's no jubba's palace and rancor like we used to get but the sets do technically go together. Do I recommend this set? I think it's got to be a yes. I had so much fun building this. I especially enjoyed it because growing up, I always wanted one of the Clone Wars ATTEs, and this is definitely a much more detailed model than that. So if you can pick it up for that lower price of £90, £100, or about 20 to 30% off, I say definitely go for it because the values there with that Cody minifigure and the gunner, hopefully it does hold its value because that 212 clone airborne has become a very pricey minifigure after appearing in just one set. So we probably won't get anything similar to this next year unless they do give us the updated Cody with arm printing, which I'd love to see on a few more clone troopers. But that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. May the bricks be with you always.